hello friends in this video tutorial we discuss about the attribute of the servlet the programmer can pass the information from one servlet to another servlet using the attributes let's see with an example simply click on file new and dynamic web project and here I simply give the project name is attribute attribute servlet demo click on next then click on next click on generate web.xml deployment descriptor and then finish your project will be displayed under the project explorer explore your project simply I explore the Java resource and uh, right click on the SRC folder and click on new click on new and uh, click on servlet simply give the name class name of your servlet I simply write the first servlet and uh, super class is HTTP servlet and then click on the next my my servlet name is first servlet and the URL is also first servlet I want to change click on edit and uh, I simply give the URL is servlet 1 and then click on ok then click on next here various methods displayed simply I check the do post method and do get method and then click on the finish the first servlet is created here the name of the servlet is first servlet it is extend from the HTTP servlet scroll down and simply you see the two methods do get method and do post method within the do get method I write the sum code like this I simply use the print writer and declare out object equal response dot get writer and simply close control s response okay here simply there is an error occurred place your cursor and import the java.io package because the definition of the print writer class is under the java.io and I declare a out simple out object the get writer method return the print writer object okay and the print writer is simply have a methods print ln r print method that display the information on the browser and uh, then in the next line I write the servlet context and the object is context equal get servlet context then semicolon you have learned about the get servlet context method return the servlet context object and here I declare the servlet context object is context okay and then press enter and then I here context dot set attribute okay set attribute is the method of servlet context that can set the object given object in the application scope set attribute method takes two argument string name and object I simply I simply give the string object a string name as a company 
and uh, value is object value is Wipro simply context object uses the set attribute method and simply set the attribute or object value as a Wipro and the name is company with the help of this name we can get the value into the another servlet Bipro. okay simply I write here out dot print ln welcome to first servlet welcome to first servlet this is simply print a message on the browser and then again write down out dot print ln and uh, simply write in the double quote I declare an anchor tag and then href equal single quote dot slash servlet to and uh, here simply close the anchor tag and uh, write here second servlet okay I create a link hyperlink anchor tag that is used to link the second servlet and the second servlet URL is servlet 2 okay come into the src folder come into the src folder and uh, right click and take a new servlet give the name of servlet class is second servlet and uh, super class is http servlet and then click on the next your servlet name is second servlet and uh, my servlet name is second servlet and uh, url is second servlet i change the url as a uh, servlet 2 servlet 2 and click on ok and then click on next simply here check the do post and do get method and then click on the finish my second servlet class is created here the name of servlet is second servlet it is extend from the http servlet and the url is servlet 2 here scroll down two methods do get method and do post, post method displayed here i want to get the first servlet set attribute into the second servlet do get method okay simply i create a context servlet context servlet servlet context servlet context and object is context equal get servlet here simply get servlet method return the servlet context object and the object of the servlet context is context and with with the help of context context dot get attribute and uh, write the name of your company here you simply see that servlet context has a get attribute method that take a uh, one argument the string name okay and the string name is company in you well known about the first servlet and here I simply give the string name as a company okay this company 
our get attribute method and take a parameter company it returns the wipro as an object value and uh, I want to store into a variable yes string variable yes here you simply need to type cost okay simply I type cost with the string okay the get attribute method return the bipro into the s and uh, simply I take print writer print writer out equal response a response dot get writer okay and simply import the java.io and then I write here out dot println and pass the s as a argument okay the yes variable string variable print the wipro on the browser window okay and then save all the information and then again right click on the web content and take a new index dot html file index dot html file okay in the body part simply i take a anchor tag h ref equal dot slash servlet one and write the first servlet okay control s then save the file in this anchor tag i pass the servlet one in the first servlet url when we click on the first servlet it link with the first servlet and first servlet context object with the set attribute method set attribute method set the string name as company and object is wipro and after that out.println print the message welcome to first servlet and the anchor tag simply when you click on the this anchor tag it will link to the second servlet and uh, second servlet will get the value of company object value of company and is stored into the s and order print and print the s information means print the wipro okay simply right click on attribute and then run as run on server then click on next and uh, then click on finish your index.html file is running within the browser it will take sometimes okay Here you simply see the first servlet anchor tag link. When you click on the first servlet, welcome to first servlet message print on the browser and second servlet link is displayed here. When you click on the second servlet, it print the web. Thank you friends. Please subscribe my channel and also comment on this video. Thanks.